Well, Rabbi, I have uh, two things to ask uh, about what we learned today. Uh, number one is um, the nation of Israel, Hashem's choice of offering the Torah, was it for a particular generation or was he looking for the leader to offer the Torah through which he can uh, communicate with his people? Was it a leader and a nation or a nation that has to be offered? This is number one. And number two is, what was the language? Of course, it's Hebrew, which the divine language with Hashem spoke. spoke. But then it was a mixed multitude which uh, surrounded the mountain to receive the Torah. So what could be, would they be able to understand what Hashem spoke? Because even the Egyptians were uh, along with the crowd. So was it a common language that they spoke? Or it was how did the multitude understand uh, the voice of Hashem? These are the two questions. The first question, Hashem, through the leader, he gave the offering to that nation. He didn't come to them like in Mount Sinai and speak to everybody personally, but the leader of the nation that they had a Navi, a prophet, through the prophet, he would offer the Torah to the people who the prophet was in that country, and they were offered the Torah. That's how he did it. He came through the prophet. He spoke to the prophet and told him to speak to the people and ask him if they want the Torah. Um, the second question you're saying, uh, it seems that Hashem, when he spoke to the Jewish people in Mount Sinai, uh, any language, we say later on, that uh, they wrote the Torah, was written on, on all languages. It seems that Hashem, when he gave the Torah, it was able to start it in Hebrew, but it was uh, understood by every uh, uh, person according to their language. <laughs> Who can I call? 